The transient analysis provides us with an alternative to the interactive simulation with an oscilloscope, and this gives us a means to plot time domain waveforms. Here I have an RC circuit. I have an input side driven by a pulse type source and an output. I've named both of the nets to make them easier to find. Now, by the way, in case this palette is not already visible on your system, simply right click in this area and choose virtual. And that's where you can find that pulse voltage source, by the way. All right, I have it set to an initial and a pulsed value. Delay time at the moment is set to zero. You can adjust the rise and fall time. And here I can adjust the pulse width and the period of my pulse voltage source. Now, choose Simulate Analysis and choose Transient Analysis. Under Outputs, initially you would find that all of the outputs you're looking for are not visible right here. You'd have an empty screen as I'm now showing. Simply choose the signals that you like, add them to the outputs list. And then the main thing you typically need to adjust at the beginning is the end time for your simulation. In this case, we see the red trace looks like what we'd expect for our pulse voltage source. And sure enough, that's the input. The green trace is the output of the circuit. It's always instructive to know exactly what uh, points have actually been simulated. And so anytime you suspect that maybe you don't have enough points, in a minute I'll show you how to update that. Also you can adjust whether or not the black background appears as black or white, and you can also toggle on a grid. The cursors provide you a convenient way to extract the numerical value of a trace at any point in time. Notice that you get a display of both the input and the output at the cursor location. All right, let's come back to this idea of how many points are actually being simulated. Let's go back to the main setup for transient analysis. We want to adjust this so we have a maximum time step that's smaller than the default. So I'm changing it essentially from 10 microseconds to one microsecond. 